Welcome to the Microsoft Dynamics CRM video tutorial for adding logo to CRM form. My name is Adrian Nair. I am a senior functional consultant for eSavvy. You can find out more about eSavvy by visiting the eSavvy website. This tutorial will cover the following. Using logos in CRM, creating web resources in CRM, uploading JPEG file for logo, adding web resource to the CRM form where you want the logo to appear, adjusting the layout, positioning, and the formatting of the logo. The logo as it is displayed on the CRM form after we have gone through the steps. This screen shows the final result. You can see the eSavvy logo on an account form in CRM. This is the result we are trying to achieve through this tutorial. This tutorial will show how to insert this logo onto the account form in CRM. In CRM, in the customizations area, you will see there is a place where you can create or add web resources. You can see the ESAV logo web resource has already been created by clicking on new. If I open this web resource, from this screen, I can upload the JPEG file that I want to use in this logo. And as I am selecting a JPEG file, I will set the type of this web resource to be a JPEG. So we have a web resource called eSavvy logo of the type JPEG and I have already uploaded a JPEG image into this web resource. The web resource is now all set up and ready to be used. Now we are ready to go to the entity where we want to add logo to the form. In this tutorial, we will customize the account entity with the logo on the form. So here we are at the normal customization solution area in CRM and we have selected the account form from the list of forms. We've selected the form where we want to add the logo. This is a screen of the account form in customization mode. Notice the web resource button on the insert menu. In this screen, I have already clicked on web resource to show how it will appear within the header of this form. 
I have also moved and adjusted the size of this web resource which contains the logo so that it appears on the right hand side. When you add the web resource, you get the option to select the web resource from the list of web resources available. You give the web resource a name for it to appear on the account form and you can also provide a label usually if the web resource is a logo you might not want to display the label as you would just want to display the logo so that will insert the web web resource onto the screen and now we can adjust the properties as you can see I have selected one column and two rows and there you have it you can see the logo appearing in the account form after going through these steps if you have any questions or require assistance with Microsoft Dynamics CRM please contact ESAVI and one of our consultants will be more than happy to assist you with CRM customizations we hope you have enjoyed this short tutorial.